Welcome to this set of videos that we're producing on um, optimal outcome for soft tissue lump biopsies. And, and we're going to take you through various techniques of doing biopsies to ensure the optimal outcome for your patient. Um, I'm Dr. Francho Malab and I work in the breast clinic. Um, I'm a breast surgeon at Krutiskir Hospital in Cape Town, South Africa. And I'm heavily involved in the diagnostic services in our clinic and we do a lot of biopsies um, every week and hopefully I can teach you some techniques, show you the different needles so that you can obtain an optimal outcome for your patients. So I'm going to start off by showing you the different types of needles that are available to do core um, biopsies. Core biopsies are mainly used for histology. It's the main um, biopsy that we use and it's, it's the gold standard around the world to obtain tissue biopsies for most um, soft tissue tumors as well as breast tumors. Um, so let me start by showing you um, the needles that are available. First of all, we've got the completely um, manual um, needle. These needles are quite old. They're also referred to as a true cut needle and they, um, they are still the only available needles in some of our hospitals and that's why I want to show you some tips and tricks to obtain the optimal biopsy with these needles. Then we've got the semi-automatic needles. Um, with these needles um, makes it a little bit easier to obtain a biopsy. Um, and I'll show you some techniques how to get your, your biopsies with those. And then last of all I'm going to show you the fully automatic needles which actually does most of the work for you and, and, and really obtains the best biopsies. Um, the, the only problem with these needles are that they're very expensive. So these needles are less expensive and they are often the most commonly available ones. This is the, the handheld needles and the automatic needles, obviously the most expensive ones, but might be of a great benefit because you get a much better quality biopsy and the amount of repeat biopsies is going to be much less with your fully automatic system. Okay, so just taking you through the different needles. So let's start with a handheld needle. If you can imagine that this is a soft tissue, so the, the black line would represent the skin of a patient with a lump, the green in the middle. What the principles of this needle is, obviously it's a needle that slides open and closed. Um, first thing that we're going to do with these needles is you basically you need to go through the skin with your needle closed. Imagine with palpation where your lump is. Move your needle until it's just in front of your lump. Then advance the needle. I would say just open your, your it, it, a tiny little bit. Then move the needle into your lump and finally you close your biopsy cavity and remove the needle and that should give you um, a good biopsy core. Maybe I can illustrate this on something else. Let's use an apple as an example. So first of all, you go in through the skin, feel where your lump is. Imagine that I'm hitting my lump now, then I'm going to go slightly inwards with a back of the needle that goes slightly inwards. You advance forward into your lump, then slide the front forward to close the cavity, the biopsy cavity, and then extract the needle, open up, and you should have your biopsy um, inside your um, biopsy cavity, and that will be, can be sent for histology then. Okay, so let me then take you through the second needle. The second one is called the semi-automatic needles. You get different lengths, you get different sizes of needles. Um, this is an example of a 16 gauge, 100 millimeter needle. Um, it, it's good enough for a breast biopsy. I would actually prefer to have a 16 gauge needle um, um, for, this, for this purposes. But um, this one is as good as any. Um, so the principle of this one is you need to pull back on the back of the needle to, to engage the needle. This, this particular needle takes a 20 millimeter biopsy. Some of the different manufacturing companies have got different um, needles that they make. So some of them might give you the option of doing a 10 millimeter biopsy. biopsy. Um, this one is set at, at 20 millimeters only. So if, you, if, you, if you've got a smaller lesion, 
Um, if you're worried about vasculature around the needle um, that you might injure, you don't want to shoot it forward for two centimeters, then maybe that's a better place to use a 10 millimeter needle. I think one needs to use some clinical judgment to, to decide which needle you're going to use. But in principle, basically with these needles, you will, you will go through the skin, advance um, until you are just in front of what you want to biopsy, then you are going to push forward on the back of the needle, that would advance the front of the needle into your lesion and once you are happy, you're just going to push down on the back of the needle, it will then fire and take your biopsy specimen, you can then remove the needle, if you pull back and push forward again, that would open your biopsy channel so that you can remove your biopsy. The advantage of this is you can, you can change your position if you want to, so once you are in the needle and you advance and you are maybe not happy, you can pull back and change your direction until you are happy what you want to do and then activate your needle. So let me just demonstrate that on the apple. So we are going to pull back on the needle to, to get it ready for the biopsy. You are going to go through the skin until you are just in front of what you want to biopsy you are going to push forward and if you are happy with the position of that into your tumour you just press forward it will then fire you can remove if you pull back open the cavity um, your biopsy specimen should be in the, in the biopsy um, port so the last um, is an automatic um, needle biopsy system you get different ones of these again this is an example of a um, reusable handpiece with disposable needles. You also get a system that is completely disposable, the whole unit is disposable. There's obviously advantages and disadvantages of each of those. The, um, the advantages of the completely um, disposable system is that you, you've got less chance of cross-contamination between patients because there's no blood or anything on that. It can get on these um, hand pieces needs to be cleaned thoroughly after use and make sure that there's no cross contamination between patients. The disposable one you use once, you throw the whole system away. The disadvantages of that system mainly is cost. They are, they are the most expensive needles out there and um, they are very expensive and that sort of um, limits the use of those needles. So what we're using in our clinics is the reusable hand piece with the um, single-use needles that fits into the handpiece. These um, needles is easy to engage. Again, there's different companies that make similar systems. This is just one example of them. One needs to open the, knee, the, the handpiece. The, the needle is loaded by just sliding it into the two notches. One can re then remove the, the loading piece um, and close it and um, your system is then ready to use. Um, the, these hand pieces have all got a safety mechanism on that so you cannot fire it unless the safety is off. So at the back of this one you need to take the safety off and the other advantages of this in this needle you can set to a 20 millimeter biopsy or a 15 millimeter biopsy. Again with the advantages of you know, if you've got a smaller lesion, maybe you want to choose the 15 millimeter. If, you, if you've got vasculature, uh, big blood vessels around your lesion, you maybe want to take a slightly smaller needle uh, or a smaller biopsy to do this. You get different sizes needles and different length needles that fits into this system. This is a, a 10, 100 millimeter, 10 centimeter, 14 gauge needle, and this is the most common needle we use in our clinic. You get longer ones, you get thinner ones. Again, it depends on the clinical scenario where you're going to use this needle. So once you've taken your safety off on fire, you've elected what um, length of specimen you're going to take. You are then going to advance the needle into your lesion just in front of the lesion you want to biopsy. This one has got a trigger at the back and that's why I like to turn it around so it fits where my thumb is. You press the button and the needle will shoot forward. It's set on 22 millimeters now, it will shoot forward and it will take your biopsy all in one motion. You then remove your needle, pull back to open the specimen port and you will have your biopsy in there. So let me show you on the apple how this one works. So make sure it's on fire. 
turn the, I turn the needle around, you go in until you're just in front of what you want to biopsy, you press the button, remove the needle, turn it around, open your bi biopsy port and you will have your biopsy specimen in there. So there's a nice apple core there that we've taken out. Okay. So those are the most, three most commonly available needles. Hopefully that will um, give you a little bit of insight how it works. Um, we're now going to move on to some clinical scenarios um, and how we use these needles.